Hello my lovely friends and welcome back to my art studio. I am so happy to have you here because I don't think anyone will be able to come inside my house forever, okay. ever again. I'm okay. okay. Today's art journey will be in creating the ultimate autumn painting. I will take you along from the concept through the entire process with all of its ups and downs and my earnest tips and ways to create art that you find joyful. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So we are starting with the concept. So here, as you can see, I'm just sketching my concept and thinking about how I can be bringing in reflections. This is something I have been wanting to create for quite a while. I'm really fascinated by reflections that happen that really bring you into the illusion of the world so much deeper. So I've taken a lot of photos that show reflections in nature because I think it really expands what's going on. So I'm using this photo as a reference and it's from my favorite place here in Vermont. I've done so many paintings of that place and that was what I did my first make with me video where we went from concept to the full um, reveal and I took you guys there in the end. This is where I get a lot of my stones that I make into paints and this painting will be featuring mostly my stone made paints which is really exciting because it really feels very grounded um, and really connects back to where it was inspired. Let's get cozy in the studio. So this is Monday. This is when I focused mainly on the foundation. So this is going through and using a lot of paint and creating some layers. I started using some of my nature made paints, um, but I mostly was using the primary colors because um, it does require a lot of layering. Um, you can see some of the stone made paints in there creating the start of some of the reflections in the water and the leaves. I'm very excited. I've been doing all my videos without a tripod and I'm just, I'm very excited about it. It's a big moment. We are at the mud stage of the painting experience. I'm really excited about the layering that's happening here. Um, I think when people see people's paintings, they're like, it just looked amazing the whole time. And that's just not true. I know that things will turn out well, but right now it just looks like a bunch of muddy lily pads or something. But I need the depth so I need the darkness. So to get that effect, I need to have a lot of layers. I was painting so hardcore that, uh, yeah, it broke the nail. Here is where I gave myself my own version of a break, which was to work on a commission um, that was a lot more of an obtainable piece. If you are watching this in real time, my holiday 2020 painting commission deadline is December 1st. Okay, so it's day three. Side note, I did finish this painting, which is a commission of Gorilla Park in Nashua. If you want to check out my current body of artwork for sale, you can head to my website. I have my autumn sale happening right now. Also, if you are excited about learning art with me, I am doing online art lessons where we can really dive deep into what you are interested in and get you making things that make you happy. So today I'm starting with most of what I think the first layer first couple layers, um, but I really need to start bringing in some more definition. I've been thinking a lot about the reflective qualities, kind of think through some of my conceptual ideas a little bit more, and then be able to focus. 
You will notice that I am referring to my photo quite a bit. I have it on my laptop just sitting to the right of me. I'll show you the image again just to remind you what we're working on here. I step back after I do pretty much just every mark um, just to make sure everything is cohesive so I move around quite a lot to keep the painting active. My main concern being that I wanted to make sure this painting really felt like you could fall into it and have this so much dimension. Um, so having a ton of layering and building up a lot of, you know, just this world underneath. This is where I really started to build in the foundation of a lot of the leaves. So kind of getting their contour and also building up some of the structure underneath so that there could be a really realistic feeling um, of the leaf when you looked at it from above. I really wanted these leaves to feel that they were they had just dropped and had fallen onto the surface of this water. Um, and that, so that needed a lot of layering and a lot of um, stepping back from the painting, looking at it again, and really adjusting. So I danced around a lot of the painting to make sure things felt very alive. Hello friends. If I'm being honest, I am a little bit burnt out on this painting. It's got a long, long way to go. You know what? Sometimes you just need to push through the awkward stage and just keep going. It's like middle school. You just got to make it through. So I kind of went in with a new plan of attack a little bit. I wanted to start silhouetting the leaves to give them a little bit more weight, to give them a little bit more realistic feeling in space. Because the risk is always that things are going to kind of all blend together and be very muddy. And because I use all like these natural colors, that happens even easier. So I really wanted to bump up the contrast to make sure that things did not feel muddy um, and had their own little forms. So this actually made me feel a lot more confident. Well, I'm taking a pause because this is as much as I can do for today. I need a little bit of a break. But I did get myself pumped up and I feel like I've gotten to a relatively better place with this painting. Um, I feel like there really is starting to be some more definition. I spent most of today on the leaves. So I'm pretty excited. Um, there's just some impressions of some of them, but then some I took a lot longer on. But this is where we are right now. There is so much more to go, so much so that this video is actually going to be part one of two because there were so many, um, there were so much ups and downs and it's such a involved painting that it did require you know, I barely recorded and there was so much footage and I did feel like it was pretty fun and I hope that, yeah, we're just gonna have, we're gonna have two videos, so just, just get used to it. Thank you so much for coming along in this art journey with me. If you would like weekly art inspiration and guidance, feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube, like my video if you like it, and become my friend on uh, my Instagram, which is Shady Tree Maker. I share new videos every Monday. Well, happy making friends. Talk to you next Monday.